Hi everyone, good afternoon. Today is Sunday. It's church time so we might go to church and hopefully we will not be late so we can go. And um, I'm still having back pain um, but it's not really worse compared to yesterday. And if you notice, um, this past few days, Chris was the one who's always vlogging. That's because I'm so busy with uh, my beauty channel. Anyways, I hope that you'll understand that. So, what I'm gonna do now is... Oh, today's my day off because I just uploaded another beauty channel. But I will try to vlog, not vlog, on my website because I need to post one haul and one review. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'll tell them to get ready soon because um, we will go to church. And I might also do a schedule for exercising and that way um, Chris and I will have a healthy um, life. So maybe three, three times in a week or yeah, three times in a week. Maybe Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. But we're just, but we're still gonna talk about that. But hopefully we can do that three times a week. So we didn't vlog that much today. Um, last night, Femlo got upset at me because I've been eating like enormous amounts of food and all unhealthy. So it's good because, you know, um, she gets unhappy when she sees me getting late. And there's the truth, a lot of people could probably relate to this, is that when you're fat, you don't realize you're fat. You look in the mirror and maybe you look at the front angle and it looks like you're just fine or in good shape. But other people, when they see you and they see your back and you have like fat hanging out, they're the ones that know you're unhealthy. And I know that because there's been a lot of times where I thought that I looked like a healthy weight, but when I lost weight, I looked at my past pictures and I go, whoa, I was, I was really overweight. So I'm gonna do what I did before and um, the way that I diet, I don't crash diet. And it's kind of weird because I'm a guy, you know, most guys don't think about dieting, I think, but maybe I'm wrong. But the way that I eat healthier, where I eat less, is I just don't eat until I'm stuffed. Because I have a tendency, and a lot of people probably do this, um, a lot of guys probably, I think guys eat more than women, um, they eat until they're like so full and satisfied. But when I want to lose weight, I don't stop eating, I just don't eat until I'm full. So if I still feel a little bit hungry, um, that's probably what a normal person eats. If I feel completely satisfied, that's overeating because that's how my body works. So if anybody uh, wants to lose weight, just uh, try to eat a little bit less. I mean, it's better to eat really healthy food, but um, for me what's more realistic is trying to eat healthy, but if I want to do something that I could really stick to that's easy and practical, just eat less. So uh, hopefully my face will be shrinking day by day in these video blogs. So we didn't turn off our laptops because it's starting to rain and I'm gonna have to turn off the camera soon because there's a superstition in the Philippines that if you use electronics, you'll get struck by lightning. So before I'm Philippines there, scared... Right there. Wait. Okay. Apparently we're afraid of vampires. I don't know what Ching and Mantoy have been doing with this, but I guess it was in the house when we got here. I'm not sure. I don't know, but... Looks like a nice steak. Hi guys, it's Sunday shout outs. So I want to say hi to Chanel and Ryan for always watching our videos. It means so much to us guys and happy birthday to Ryan. I hope you will have more birthdays to come. Um, good health, um, more love and happiness. So I think the reason why some Filipinos are afraid about getting struck by lightning when they're in a house, you know, if they're petting a cat, if they're using an iPhone or just a regular phone, or next to a mirror. I think that they're afraid of that because some people they live in very small houses made of bamboo or just some of those uh, it's not very durable so if lightning strikes maybe it will strike them. I'm not sure but I think it can. So let me ask you this. Can lightning strike through a window? I know an open window yes but what about a glass window? Aryan Mantois and Ching's new TV. You move the bed back there, push up the TV over there. That's a TV that from a has had for a while but she decided to give it to them because um, we're not using it. And this is a video of what I'm going to be drinking from now on. I'll drink Nest tea sometime and maybe Coke sometimes but I'm going to really cut back on my sugary drinks and just uh, drink a lot of water. Thankfully we vlog all the time so you guys will be able to see if I do a good job or not. If my face gets fatter, I'm doing bad. If it gets skinnier, good. What's your favorite quote? Hello? Quote. Quote? Saying. <laughs> on the spot. <laughs> You're on the hot seat. <laughs> Buffering. 
don't know. Mentoy, your favorite quote and a different one than last time. Well, I didn't say the quotes uh, last time. Yes, you said Mentoy's boyfriend is worth dying for. Ah, but, see. Yeah, a new quote. Ah. Uh, the Mantoy time is times go. I'm trying to make footage, my dear. What? I'm try doing my best here, okay? If you have a girlfriend in the Philippines and you're coming here for the first time to see her and you want to impress her, make sure you have clean nails. See this right here? You need this. If you have dirty nails, nails that aren't clean, and you come to the Philippines, that's a major turnoff in the Philippines. From what I could tell, from what I learned from just everybody that I met, men have very clean nails here. And Femo, when, when she met me, the first thing she looked at was my nails and my toenails, and <laughs> it wasn't good. Speaking of nasty and sugary drinks like that, some sort of mayor or governor, somebody in the United States wanted to outlaw sodas and sugary drinks sold in that city. And um, for me, that's pretty amazing, but if the United States is really serious about cutting health care, it might be an overreach on the government, but... Uh, Somebody's gonna have to do something because that costs a lot of money for all these people getting sick. And these guys are enjoying the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up late. The gym. Hey. Hey, is the one that didn't want the TV. Hey, hey do you want us to bring the TV back huh? because you said you didn't want the TV? Nah. Right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. You didn't want. He was being shy. Filipinos are shy. They, uh, when you're gonna give them something, they tell you not to give it to them. Like uh, when it's time to eat, hey, I really come eat. A lot of Filipinos say, no, I'm, I'm basok, I'm full, no thank you. And Fama built Roy Roy a bed so he could sleep. Ching Ching's on the bunk on the top and Roy Roy's on the bottom. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night, Roy Roy. Good night. <laughs> Late reaction. Good night. <laughs> English. 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 English.